Welcome back to session nine, I believe it is, of Absolutely. season two of the Micro Blogcast. We have um, Mike Tropos and Danny McGee here with us again. Um, we've been talking about scope one, two, and three emissions. Um, we defined each of them in a prior ses um, session, and then we kind of dug into scope one um, and the organizational boundary. So let's dive into scope three a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What is all involved in scope three? Like, I understand there's a whole bunch of categories. Is that correct, Mike? 15 categories. I actually just learned this, so I'm excited to teach you all about this. I don't know if you guys are gonna have to jump in at any second here, but <laughs> there's 15 categories. And um, like we talked about scope one and two, you have direct control over. Scope three, you don't. The best way I had to describe to me is scope three emissions are somebody else's scope one and two emissions. So, oh, that makes all the sense in the world. But some examples would be uh, traveling. So if you have a bunch of people that are traveling for business, that would be scope three emissions. Commuting, um, if you're a components manufacturer, if you're building something like a car, all those parts that you buy, those count as scope three emissions. Um, investments, franchises, there's a ton of other things, but basically anything that you didn't directly burn energy on, but required energy to be created, that is a scope three emission. Is that a fair overview? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the other big one is the use of the product. Oh, yeah, yep. So like cars, right, like scope three emissions would be uh, how the car's driving around, right? Like gas they yeah, if you, if you make an inefficient car, but you do it efficiently, uh, you know, you're still responsible uh, for the scope three associated with it. So this, this table does not have scope three operation emissions, but it could have some scope three emissions at end of life though. Is that correct? Yeah, there's, that's another great one. So use and then end of, end of life. All right. Does your, does your brain hurt yet? Cause my <laughs> <laughs> I think scope three is exciting. Cause like, that's the one where like, you get to come up with creative solutions around. And that's the one where as a kind of collective commons, we're all responsible for it. And so the, changes that as someone making scope one and two, as you said, it's someone else's scope one and two, but like it's a reminder that we're all kind of connected. Okay. So one last question, do we have to look at all 15 categories uh, when you're calculating scope three emissions? That seems like a lot to calculate. I mean, if there's 15 different categories, where do, we, where do you start and how, how does that whole yeah, I mean, concept work? That's oftentimes where we first start is figuring out what matters most to a company and that's called a materiality assessment. And so figuring out what, uh, what we're not gonna go after everything, but like what matters most. Sounds like a future episode of the micro vlog cast will be on materiality. What do you guys think? <laughs> I Sounds think great. so too. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, that wraps up session eight. So thanks everyone. See you next time. Was it nine? That's awesome. <laughs> that was nine for sure. <laughs> okay, can we splice that last little bit? <laughs>